it's low key and i am i say i am mr super facts man down man down king coach killer james you got another one first things first family i need y'all to hit that like button if you're a newcomer subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button bang on that bell welcome to the low key t aka mr super facts family all right if you're a newcomer hop up in a live stream man hop up in a live chat every video that i make is a live video so definitely hop up in a live chat and chime in share your thoughts views opinions on whatever trending topics we're covering as always this is a pro truth pro objective and pro good character channel all opinions are welcome let's get straight to it oh hold up skirt stop i'm gonna need you to swing by the mr super facts store merchandise clothing all that all that designed by yours truly specifically for kings and queens man a lot of honorable fabrics over here okay so hop up in the description the link to the mr super facts store will be in the description i repeat the link to the mr super facts store will be in the description okay now let's get straight to it i was over here minding my business playing some call of duty you know you know typical nigga shit. <laughs> you know seeing this notification on my phone lakers and luke walton agree to part ways wow I had that NBA app, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I I just stopped watching a lot of basketball, man. But that NBA app keep me on point. Okay? Now you might as well download that shit. It's free. Now I know they're saying in the title, they agree to part ways, okay? The same way they said Magic Johnson chose to step down. Okay, I'm just letting y'all know from the jump before we even get into this article. Ain't nobody agreeing to part ways. Ain't nobody choosing to step down. Okay. Okay. And this is allegedly, but I'm going to keep it up. But hey, Miss Jeannie, my my baby got these niggas to fuck up out of there. Let's keep it. I'm going to keep it a whole buck with you. My baby Jeannie Bus got these niggas to fuck up out of there. Okay. Like I said, it's low key, man. I'm a pro good character ass nigga, man. I love all flavors. Okay. As long as Genie Bus don't Albert Wilson me. Okay. As long as Genie Bus don't Emmett Till me respectfully. Then me, we could have something. Okay. All right. So Miss Genie, you know, you know, I just, I just want to send you some, 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 some love. Okay. And I see how you moving and I respect it. And it would fill my heart with joy if, if you, you hit the three p yet you, you complete the trifecta and you get that that motherfucker with the hairline every day lebron james hairline is schizophrenic lebron james hairline has multiple personality disorder Every day, you don't know what's going on. Okay? So, hopefully, Genie Buzz get his ass to fuck up out of there next, okay? But I see what you're doing, baby, respectfully. And, um, yeah, fuck, fuck with a real one. Fuck with a real one, okay? All right? I'll sit course side with you, baby. So, uh, respectfully. Respectfully. Uh, hey, Miss Genie, let's get straight to it. The Lakers and coach Luke Walton have mutually agreed to part ways. The team announced in a statement Friday afternoon, okay? Walton was brought in the year after Kobe retired. Y'all remember that last game when he dropped 60? Okay, Kobe, come back. Okay, come back, Kobe. What the fuck? What the fuck, Kobe? You didn't fucked up everything, man. At least go to the uh the big three or whatever the hell that sorry ass league. I'm gonna keep it a buck. It ain't even sorry. The big three is more entertaining 
than the and then the NBA finals was. Got Nate Robinson leaping over uh seven foot twelve niggas over there, man. Watch the big three, man. Let me shut the fuck up and read this, okay? It says uh Walton was brought in a year after Kobe retired to oversee a rebuilding of the team. The Lakers record improved each season, but they also missed the playoffs in each season, okay? Whole lot of nothing. That's what they're doing over there. It says, we would like to thank Luke for his dedicated service over the last three years. General Manager Rob Palenka said, uh, we wish Luke and his family the best of luck moving forward. The move comes three days after the president of basketball operations, Magic Johnson, resigned. Okay. Goes on to say, the team has no plans to fire Palenka. Okay. He, he the last of the Mohicans over there. I won't be surprised if they get rid of him. People with knowledge of the situation said, Walton is expected... Uh, to be a top candidate for coach of the Sacramento Kings, okay, who fired Dave uh, Jorger on Thursday. The Kings general manager mm -hmm. is former Lakers center uh, Vlade Divac, okay? Walton had a record of 98 and 148 with the Lakers who closed the 2018-2019 season Tuesday night with a 104-101 loss to the Trailblazers to finish 37 and 45 the lakers were 26 and 56 in walton's first season uh and 35 and 47 last season i gotta point this out okay and i and i, I i'll probably i might look it up i might not but listen <laughs> y'all remember yo who came up in my chat that time and said the Lakers were going to win 50 plus games. Fuck that. Fuck that. Stephen A. Smith told y'all. He told y'all gullible motherfuckers that the Los Angeles Lakers were going to make it to the conference finals with the Warriors. The war who, 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 who warrior? What warrior? The Golden State Warriors. That's what Stephen A. Smith told you. Okay, so I hope he wasn't putting your money on whatever the fuck that nigga was talking about. Wow. These niggas couldn't even win 40 games. That's a that's a shame. With with allegedly the best player on the planet, okay? Let me get through this. It says the arrival of LeBron James, I call him LeBum Lames, uh created anticipation of the Lakers return to the playoffs, but the 15-time All-Star forward Injure his groin during a win over the Golden State Warriors on Christmas Day and missed 17 consecutive games. Okay, Rajon Rondo also re injured his hand uh, during the win and missed 14 games but before, uh, before returning on January 24th. The Lakers plummeted from fourth place in the Western Conference standings to ninth before James returned on January 31st. The Lakers announced on March uh, 30th that he was done for the season. James played in 55 games this season and averaged 27.4 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 8.3 assists per game. He made 51% of his shots from the field and 33.9% of his three-point attempts. He goes on to say those numbers were all higher than James' career averages except for three-point shooting accuracy so you, you clearly see if you don't watch the games then you can't see all the stat stuff and that's going on how lebron is playing in garbage time and putting up layups and dumps during uh layups and dunks during garbage time okay he's he's he's, he's statting his pads okay he's stat pattern whatever the fuck you want to call it that's what he's doing so at the end of the day well when you go look at the numbers you can you can you know you can see some evidence that says Oh, well, uh, it, it was higher than his career, you know, career average or whatever the case may be. When in reality, I'm the type of player that understands basketball is a team sport. And at the end of the day, I don't care if my numbers are doo-doo. I want my team to win. You feel me? So um, bear with me, family. Bear with me. Bear with me. Now let me hop up in the live chat, man. Triple salute the kings and queens on the check-in. We got the big dog, Baraka Longmire, checking in. The homie Jada New Yorker showing love. We got the laziest sniper on YouTube, Jamel Collins, checking in. I see y'all. Let me see what y'all talking about. God damn. <laughs> we getting straight to it. This nigga, oh, shit. This is allegedly. Everything I'm about to say is alleged. Jada New Yorker says, uh, Magic gave the Lakers HIV and 
dipped. <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, Big Dog says Le, uh, Le Bum is a coach, uh, team, and definitely franchise killer. That's a super fact. J.D. New Yorker says that's typical white man shit. Lose one job, have another one lined up. Ain't it? Nigga, that's the realest shit I ever heard. They White people will never quit a job unless they already hire somewhere else. Okay, black people quit a job because of the motherfucking what's what's that shit called? When you go get the snacks, they won't have the snacks they like in that motherfucker, man. <laughs> you put the money, what's that shit called? You put the money in it and the and the snacks come out. Oh fuck it, whatever. A nigga quit his job because they won't have uh whatever a uh, ho ho or snack he like up in there. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck and won't have no job lined up. But he'll be at that unemployment line. He'll be like, nigga, I need this check. All right, triple salute. Now let's see. Jamel Collins says Stephen A. Smith is a joke. Oh yeah, Stephen A. Smith. Should, uh, some he should be able to get slapped up. He honestly, this man was really walking around saying that LeBron James and the Lakers were gonna make it to the conference final. That is just the craziest shit. I've, based off one player. See, this is why I'm I'm slowly. Not e I, I, it's becoming incapable for a person like me to watch basketball because at the end of the day, my favorite team since the beginning of, beginning of time have been the teams that played together, the Detroit Pistons with Chauncey Billups in them, okay? None of them were fucking uh, considered superstars, but they all played together and they formed on some Voltron shit and they could have won a handful. They could have won multiple uh, rings. You know what I'm saying? They could have won multiple titles. Chauncey Billups, Tyshawn Prince, Rip Hamilton, Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace. They was fucking the league up because they played together. They played like grown men out there. You know what I'm saying? To the Boston Celtics with the big three. They played. They was old as dog shit, but they played together. Um, To the Warriors. Like I said, the Warriors are a little different because... They started off as, you know, uh, players with potential, but they groomed their skills to the point that they became, a lot of them became superstars on the Warriors. Um, but at the end of the day, what Adrian Broner say? At the end of the day, I love the Warriors because they play together. I don't really give a fuck about the whole superstar shit. At the end of the day, if the Warriors didn't play together, if the Warriors didn't play together, they wouldn't be winning, you know what I'm saying, all the championships that they want. So that's that's the thing. For some reason, LeBron James just thinks that if he gets um, a whole bunch of – pretty much pick up basketball at, at LA Fitness or the gym or at the fucking park. If you just get the best players and put them on the team, you're going to win. And that's not how it works when every single night a team can game plan. You have 82 games, the game plan for the people on your team, okay? <laughs> and nowadays, all you got to do is play a little bit of defense on a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know how to react. <laughs> you feel me? Vending machines. Super. Thank you, Keys. Hey, Miss Keys. Triple salute the homie Rule Breakers on the check-in. Definitely subscribe to that, brother, man. Definitely click on his channel right now. Subscribe to Rule Breakers. And we got the queen keys to win checking in. <laughs> Rule Breaker says, uh, LeBron run every coach out of town. That's crazy. One day, I uh, wonder who they targeting to be the new coach. They talking about bringing in Ty Lu. Now, if any of y'all remember, Ty Lu got dragged to death. I mean, I think even Ty Lu sat down. Like, he had to take a break. Because of all the criticism and scrutiny that comes with just being affiliated, being on the same team as LeBron James. And the thing is this, everything, this is my opinion, but I feel like it's, it, it's factual. When you have a Kobe Bryant that says whatever's going on in the organization or, what, or who, how, when they're losing, whatever the case may be, Kobe Bryant went out there and said, it's, so, it's my fault. You can put the blame on me. It's my fault. You feel me? That's what Kobe went out there and did. Okay? I didn't really grow up in the Michael Jordan era, so I can't really I can't really speak on what how Michael Jordan handled it. 
But I remember Kobe saying, it's my fault. There's no excuses. Kobe went out. Kobe would go out on the basketball court with three working fingers, half a kneecap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, playing on a baby toe. And he would ball out of control. And even when they lost, knowing that he wasn't 100% healthy, he would still say, like a man, like a man, like a real man that's that's a competitor, he would say, it's, put it on me. The nigga has smushed Parker on his team, respectfully. But I wouldn't pick a nigga up at LA Fitness if his name was Smush. What's Smush? What soldier boy? Smush? Smush? And pick a nigga nag up named Smush. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, so they're saying, and I mean, you have great coaches out there like um, like a Mark Jackson, or you can name however many. Even George, I think George Carl, I'm not sure if he's hired or not. You have coaches out there that LeBron could have been played with. You have coaches available now, even Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd is going to turn up. Okay, that's the reason they got Jason Kidd up out of there. Um, he, Jason Kidd actually really, in my opinion, he helped turn the Milwaukee Bucks around. Okay, that's my that's my personal opinion. But um, there's all I'm trying to say is there's real coaches out there. I think Mark Jackson would be the perfect coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. Mark Jackson, in my opinion, turned around um, the Golden State Warriors, um, their mentality. Um, he turned around their culture. Um, and then they got him to fuck up out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I really don't look at Steve Kerr as, um, I, I don't, I don't give him credibility for turning around the Warriors. That's just my personal opinion. It's all about a culture. It's all about, um, a mentality. That's all we really, it, 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 we was even, when we was even talking about the black community and everything that's so fucked up, I was thinking, I was, you know what I'm saying? I was putting it down in the bathroom earlier, you know, blowing it down, you know what I'm saying? And I was just thinking to myself, that's when I had my deepest thoughts. And I was just like, um, and I might make this a video, but I was just like, damn, look at all the love that Nipsey Hussle got. And then where's the love for a nigga like Albert Wilson? Apparently, and I just, like I said, I checked out um, Rule Breaker's video and a, and a couple other people's videos on this Albert Wilson, um, you know, guy. And apparently he got 12 years and he, he getting locked up for 12 years for a chick accusing him of a rape of her when there was no evidence that they even had sex. So I'm just like, damn, like. Black people or people of the culture should be coming out the same way they was out there for Nipsey Hussle and respectfully to that man, but he was a gangster rapper. He was promoting, flagging, and gang violence. Just keep it a buck. Not saying he wasn't on some positive shit, but he was promoting some shit. You know what I'm saying? He was promoting some destructive shit. Let's just keep it a buck. So, with, so if y'all can come out for, for a nigga like that, why can't y'all come out for, you know, a motherfucker like Albert Wilson. You know what I'm saying? Not saying Albert Wilson wasn't in the wrong. He was in the wrong. That chick was in the wrong. But I'm just saying, where's the support? You know what I'm saying? I don't how the fuck I got all the way over here. <laughs> but where's the support? Um, But you look at a David Black, okay? You look at a Mike Brown. Countless, countless people. They don't even have to be coaches. Teammates. Dwayne Wade came over there to Cleveland, what, uh, two years ago? Dwayne Wade, Isaiah Thomas? Who else? They, they brought over a squad of veteran basketball players. LeBron James got his own friend to fuck up out of there. The least he could do, the least LeBron James could do was send uh, his one of his best friends Dwayne Wade back to Miami. He was like, nigga, you got to go. <laughs> but but because you my nigga, I'll make sure you go back to where you came from opposed to sending your ass uh, to the Utah Jazz or some fucked up shit like that. Let's just keep it a buck. And I got to quote, you know, what the greatest player 
um, on the planet Earth today when it comes to basketball, I got to quote what the man said. And anytime somebody wants to argue with LeBron James being a coach killer, LeBron James being cancer to a franchise, to anything that involves this team sport, this beautiful team sport I used to love, quote this. The best basketball player on the planet. This is what he said about LeBron James. So much hype, you know, comes comes from being around LeBron from other people, Durant said. He has so many fanboys in the media, even the beat writers just fawn over him. I'm like, we're playing basketball here, and it's not even about basketball at certain points. So I get why anyone wouldn't want to be in that environment because it's toxic, nigga. Okay, it's toxic waste, motherfucker. It's pure radiation and cans. You can fuck around and uh get uh you don't have you don't need chemo when you're done playing with LeBron, nigga. Especially when the attention is bullshit, attention fluff. It's not LeBron's fault at all. It's all uh just it's just the fact you have so many groupies in the media that love to hang on every word. Just get out of the way and let us play basketball you feel me <laughs> uh rule says where are the free albert wilson shirts at and that's what i'm saying jamel says something we will never forget ai crossed the shit out of lou oh hell yeah and then he stepped over him to your typical asshole shit shout out ai all right um isaiah thomas says the truth um which you talking about the new isaiah or the old isaiah I heard I heard y'all could correct me if I'm wrong because like we were talking about yesterday the whole you know NBA players with their gay children it's not it's I don't I don't think it's a coincidence to be honest with you man I think a lot of these a lot of these uh basketball players you know like I said they have extraordinary fame they and and they have the potential to um to gain extraordinary wealth okay so I mean I think a lot of these motherfuckers, they sell out their children, man, for that fame and that wealth. I don't, I can't tell you exactly how it happens, but I think I, there's no, there's no. To me, there's no such thing as coincidences. You have a Magic Johnson, a legend, a legend, a Hall of Famer when it comes to the game of basketball. Look at this kid. You got a, you got um, an Isaiah Thomas. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think his kid is gay too. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. But that's um, I heard I, that's that's just something I heard. You got a Michael Jordan. Where the hell is his kid at? You would think Michael Jordan's son would be even better than Michael Jordan. Not saying Michael Jordan's son is gay or anything like that. I don't even know anything about Michael Jordan's son. But I'm just saying, where is he at? You know what I'm saying? And then now you got the situation with Dwayne Wade and like um, I was talking to uh Keys about. Don't be surprised. I don't know how many kids LeBron got. I think he got two or three, right? Don't be surprised if one of LeBron James' kids come out and he's gay. Don't be surprised. I just feel like a lot of these kids are fucking uh, offerings, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep it a buck. (laughs) Keep it a buck. Triple salute the queen. China White on the check-in. Big Dog says, uh, Willie D said he don't trust anyone black person uh, who so-called hates on LeBron James. I mean, you know, and 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 it is what it is. Um, everybody's entitled to their opinion. He said, hopefully they're talking about the old Isaiah. <laughs> but definitely triple salute all the kings and queens on the check-in, man. I just wanted to make this quick video about um about Luke Walton getting ran the fuck up out of LA. I did want to um hop in my notes real quick. Um I think Luke Walton is a bitch. You know, and I mean that in the most respectful way, but Luke Walton is the he-, he was the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers before LeBron got there and when LeBron got there. He should have put his foot down. See, they wanted this man fired before LeBron even got there. I mean, during the summer when he when he he chose to go there. So you, if you already knew you were on the hot seat, if you already knew 
you know, how the narrative was forming that these people, you know, you weren't Magic's guy, whatever the case may be. LeBron didn't choose you, right? <laughs> right? Because at the end of the day, they keep going with this King James. This is his kingdom. Wherever LeBron James go, it's his kingdom type shit. Like, I've never seen a beta male be a king, man. Let's keep it a buck. But the point I'm trying to make is, it's like LeBron James has to choose his gesture uh, as a head coach, right? But at the end of the day, a, a, an alpha male, okay? An alpha would have said, you know what? These motherfuckers don't want me here. They're going to try to get rid of me anyway. Let me do what the fuck I want to do. Let me run the plays I want to run. Let me run the offense and the defense that I see fit for us to win games. And if I'm on my way, if they're going to get me the fuck up out of here, then let it don't matter. It don't matter what I do. And that's where I lost all respect for Luke Walton. You already knew they was going to get you up out of here. You should have you should have did whatever the hell you saw fit to win games with this team, not just go along to get along. Not just try to keep your job. That's beta male shit. Okay? <laughs> if you had a nigga like me in that locker room as a head coach of the Lakers, I would have I would have been you know what I mean? Listen, LeBron James would have been living on the bench, man. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I would have been playing Luke Walton should have been playing players that wanted to win. I don't know. Did y'all see when Kuzma had to push LeBron James to play defense? That he had to push this man to go contest the other nigga shot. It was the most embarrassing thing I ever seen, man. Um, but I do have to say as well, it was Luke Walton's ego that was his demise. Luke Walton had the best job. A nigga could ask for. He was an assistant coach on the Golden State Warriors, a team that you could tell was going to be a dynasty. They would, all they was going to do was win. Okay, they about to three p right now. Luke Walton left, uh, I think two, either two or three years ago. Luke Walton was in perfect position to be an assistant coach. Okay, on a dynasty. On a team that was going to go down in history. His ego said, you know what? I want my own. Luke Walton might have some nigga in him. Let's keep it a buck, okay? The greed, the ego. He said, I want my own. So this is what happened. He went out and he got his own. But LeBron fucked everything up for this man. He didn't see this coming. And he didn't know how to adapt. Okay, and now they about to ship his ass to the Sacramento Kings somewhere off the grid. And now he got to live with that. That's his karma. So we all have karma. This, in my personal opinion, specifically for Luke Walton, I feel like this is his karma. His ego screwed him over. When you could have won at the end of the day, you could have continued winning, popping bottles. Being a champion. A champion being around good people. You look at a Steph Curry. He's a goofball. He's good. He's good people. Kevin Durant, you know, he might not fuck with the media like that. But when he around, you know, his teammates, you could tell it's love. You could tell he enjoys, he, he enjoys the scenery and, and the characteristics of the people he's around. So why would you leave that environment? That's how you could tell. Luke Wall might be off a little bit himself. So sometimes motherfuckers got to learn how to, you know, take a step back and enjoy the scenery. Enjoy, enjoy what you got around you. Because at the end of the day, it ain't always about your ass. We didn't got, we didn't took this. <laughs> I don't know how we didn't found a moral at the end of this story, but, um, you know. Shout out Jeannie Buzz. I'm just, I just want to say that uh, once again. Shout out. Hey, Miss Jeannie. Okay, don't do me like Albert Wilson. Okay, don't Emmett till me. Okay, all right. I, lo I love you. Um, so let me just go through the chat, man. Triple salute all the kings and queens checking in, listening to my dumb ass rant, man. <laughs> Big Dog says, Paul Pierce is a better shooter than D-Wade. Ah. Big dog, you're gonna make a lot of people angry, man. I don't know. I don't know if I could co-sign that. I don't know if I could co-sign that. 
Paul Pierce got that old man body, man. Paul Pierce moves slow as hell. <laughs> Can we just bring Kobe back? Let me, I'm going to leave it alone. Rule Breaker says, that's crazy uh, where LeBron go. They automatically ready to get the coach out of there. Uh, Walton played with the Lakers and all that with Kobe up. He a Laker guy, and look how they did him. That's a fact. The man not only played for the team, he was the coach. His father, correct me if I'm wrong, but what, did Bill Walton play for the Lakers or did he play for the Celtics? I'm not sure. But his father was in the league. Um, and look, this is the LeBron effect. It's like the, the beta butterfly effect. I don't know what's going on. But it's very unfortunate. And my question that I got to leave y'all with is, this is a narrative. At the end of the day, this is a narrative that LeBron James can do no wrong. My question that I have to ask y'all, and I, I demand an answer, who came up with this narrative? Who's responsible for LeBron James never being able to do anything wrong? Because me personally, I've never seen this in sports. The greatest basketball player of all time was even held accountable for his actions as a man, as a basketball player, as a father, as a husband, every, in every aspect of his life. So who said that LeBron James was off limits? Who said that? Y'all let me know. Hop up in the comment section. Put me on. Triple salute Bobby Hill on the check-in. Okay. Let me go through the chat, man. Let me see what he said. LeBron James' defense is terrible. So once again, man, just wanted to make this quick video. Um, yeah, King Coach Killer James. He didn't Magic Johnson and Luke Walton got him the fuck up out of there in one week. In one week. So with that, triple salute all the kings and queens in the chat. Triple salute the big dog Barack Longmire checking in. Uh, we got the homie Jada New Yorker showing love. The laziest sniper, Jamel Collins, showing love. Um, hey, Miss Keys. Miss Keys to win. Uh, she, she, you know, she debuted uh, with us the other night. We chopped it up with Keys to win. Check out that video. Okay, the name of the video where, where we had Keys on for the first time. Also, my brother, Virgo, a.k.a. West, first the people. You can watch that video, the name of the video. It's called, Did Dwayne Wade's Son Touch It in Miami? Pause. All right? Pause. You got to pause that. All right? Triple salute the homie Rule Breakers on the check-in. Click on his motherfucking picture. Subscribe to him, man. He got a, a lot of good shit going on over there. All right? We got the queen checking in from time to time. But every time she pull up, I appreciate it. It's China White. Click on her face. Click on her face. Subscribe to her. She be going in. She get busy. And the homie Bobby Hill showing love, checking in, man. He said LeBron James is boule, allegedly. Uh, but I agree. Uh, Bobby Hill says he going to end up fuck. Oh, Lord. I can't read that. The algorithm, Bobby. <laughs> so triple salute all of y'all checking in with me, man. Um, I do want to make an announcement. I, I gotta keep, I'm going to keep reminding y'all. In the month of May, which is all also, you know, my birth month. It was the month that Loki T uh, uh, blessed this earth with his presence respectfully, and humbly. Um, and next month, in the month of May, every single week, okay? So that's it's going to be four weeks. Every single week, I will be doing a giveaway, uh, some sort of gift. To give back and show y'all I appreciate y'all. Um, I remember when I used to press record and talk to myself. That little, when, when I look at the chat, it would say, how many people was watching? It, it, it say zero, nigga. <laughs> you know, and now there's numbers there, man. So triple salute. Triple salute to you, okay? Um, it's all love, man. And hopefully the uh, platform keeps growing, man. So with that, uh, every single week, I will be doing some sort of giveaway. Hop them in the comment section. Let me know what should I give away. What the fuck y'all want, man? I don't know if y'all want uh, coupons to Sizzler. 
Okay, you I don't know what you what you want. You want some ketchup packets from Chipotle? I don't know, salsa. Well, let me know what y'all want, man. I don't want to be that cheap nigga that be, you know what I'm saying, giving y'all shit I don't want. Let me know in the comment section what, what, what would be an ideal appreciation gift, you know what I'm saying, from from a content creator, uh, you know, to the to the family, you know what I'm saying? So so y'all let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Triple salute, Mr. Cash on the check here. So definitely, I'm gonna keep y'all posted with this whole situation. Hopefully, uh, Genie Bus get LeBron the fuck up out of there next. Okay, one can only pray. So with that, swerve over to the Mr. Superfact store. Okay, I designed this shit. Support black business. Okay, stop wearing. Don't buy Gucci. We canceling Gucci. Okay. Fuck with Mr. Superfacts. The link will be in the description. I repeat, the link will be in the description. Uh, this nigga said, we want Beyonce's uh, titty milk in our mouth. Uh, I can co-sign that. I can co-sign respectfully. Respectfully. Definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you're a newcomer. Every video that I make is a live video. So definitely make sure you hop up in the live chat. Not only so you can chime in. You know, on the, on the current trending topics, but so you can network and, and talk with some other honorable people in the chat, man. This is a big deal, okay? We are the new media. So with that, I am, you know, Mr. Superfax is low key. All right, I love y'all, and be safe. You know, it's Friday night. Please don't slap nobody in the mouth with the open hand. Please get home safe this weekend. It's Friday. Slow key, I am Mr. Superfax.